people believe in the curse of the fairies and some don't. But what you must believe in is the curse of Al-Ahli, a curse that hit Sundowns after the only 5-0 win over Al-Ahli and since then all matches end for our benefits. Here we are getting closer to the 10th star, but first the mission of the 7th Super Cup title is waiting for us. Here I am Yumna Atwa at Al-Ahli Online TV English News, getting you an in-depth view of Al-Ahli for this week. So let's start with the headlines. Al-Ahli Bukkaf Champions League semi-final ticket. Aspirants will be our opponent in CAF Champions League semis. Al-Ahli accepts Sundown's apology. Musimani weighs in on Al-Ahli's CAF Super Cup match. Ishinawi, we aim to win Al-Ahli's seventh CAF Super Cup. Al-Ahli's clash against Memory Sundowns in the second leg of the CAF Champions League quarterfinals ended in a 1-1 draw at Lucas Merepi Stadium in Pretoria. Thanks to our 2-0 win at home in the first leg, the Red Eagles secured a spot in the competition semi-finals. Yasser Ibrahim, our defender, was the hero for the Red Eagles in the encounter, having opened the score from a perfect header in the 11th minute of the first half. Musa Liboza equalized the score for the home team in the 30th minute, but his goal was not enough to the South Africans to overcome the first leg score line. Al-Ahli will face Tunisia's aspirants in the CAF Champions League semi-finals. The Red Eagles will face aspirants in the first leg in Tunisia on 8 and 19 June, while the second leg will be played a week later in Cairo. <laughs> Al-Ahli's board of directors sent an official letter to Tuyopi Mutsepe, president of Memelodi Sundowns, emphasizing on the tight relations between Al-Ahli and Sundowns. Al-Ahli highlighted in the letter the club's appreciation to the apology of Memelodi Sundowns board for the inappropriate actions before undrewing the game between Al-Ahli and Sundowns on Saturday in the second leg of the CAF Champions League quarterfinals, which reflects the eagerness of Memelodi Sundowns official on portraying sportsmanship. Al-Ahli clarified several important points, including that the club has no intention to file any complaints against the South African side as a sign of mutual of respect between both clubs. In the pre-match conference, Mishimani talked about the team's preparations for the game and gave his opinion on our opponent. He said, RS Burkane is a strong and very physical team in my opinion. They give everything inside the pitch. They have a Spanish coach who is a personal friend of mine. They are a team that did very well on the international stage. However, I believe we should get the result that we want if we play our normal game. Issey Nawi talked about the team's ambitions for the game in the pre-match press conference, as well as highlighting the importance of the fans' support. He said, We want to please our fans and win Al Ahli's 7th CAF Super Cup. We are happy to be here. We did a good competition here in Qatar during the Club World Cup. We have good memories here in Qatar and we have four important games and now we have another important match. Lastly, our fans demand from us a lot to win trophies, so we want to win the fourth trophy this season and bring it back to our fans. Thanks for watching Al Ahli Online TV English News. From Al Ahli Wiya Salam Stadium, I'm Yumna Atwa. See you next week.